Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I really feel like listening to some Porcupine Tree. And if you're here with me, I assume you do too. So, um, man, I've been digging Porcupine Tree lately. We've been doing the, uh, 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 what is it, Records album? Um, or is it, is, it, is it Records or Record? That's lame. I should know that. Let's see. Let me uh, let me go over to it and just double check. It's silly. Anyways, um, and also did a couple of live uh, videos very recently to oh recordings. Yeah, God, sorry. So recordings album, and oh uh, man, that last live one we did uh, was great and. Um, that song untitled on the recordings album was just really really good so i'm going to do another live video as you can see here and so let's get right into it I just feel like that that vibe right now um let's get to it this song's called uh radioactive toy Crowds into it. Cool lights. Walls 
yeah, that's a rock and roll ending right there, for sure. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's me. Go away. Um, that was uh, that was really cool. Uh, total uh, Pink Floyd vibes. What's cool about that is is that you know he has he's got the Roger Waters sort of flair in that song uh melody wise i you know uh i felt like he was sort of uh you know what do you call it when you're channeling roger waters in a way i thought that was kind of cool um still obviously still sounding like you know himself steven but uh it's kind of like you it's kind of the direction where you wish pink floyd would have went at a certain point you know and you know i guess they kind of did their pink floyd thing but i guess without roger waters it just wasn't quite the same who knows what it would have straightened out to be after the final cut but uh they had a falling out but anyways porcupine tree that was really cool that bass line was just like so steady so steady and just so deep too Boom, great drumming super great just like one of those last rolls I just hear it in my head <laughs> so good yeah but uh that lead at the end was or actually yeah that lead was great that was really really good really I love the way he plays lead um, I haven't heard it a lot a lot a lot you know it's like not like rock and roll lead you know where he's just going balls out and so um even though I was attracted to him at first because somebody said he was a great guitar player, you should check out, you know, Stephen Wilson. So I, that's kind of how I sort of went on that recommendation. But the first thing I heard was uh, his latest solo album, uh, Future Games, is it? Or something like that. Uh, Future Past or Future Games, forget what it is. But anyways, so, you know, it was pretty electronic with some guitar. But anyways, that was a good video. I dug it. I thought it was great. I just love the keyboards. It had that Pink Floyd keyboard kind of organ sound going a lot in it too, which kind of add just just a little bit of the vibe and a couple of the chord chord changes uh, were Pink Floyd ish, but just slightly different though, weren't they? They were just slightly different to where the chord that they went to, that just gave it you know more of a Porcupine Tree feel, you know, sort of channeling. Pink Floyd, maybe. Yeah, cool song, though. I really, really liked it. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah, now, all right. Now I'm ready to go. Now I'm ready to go. I'm feeling it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate uh, you guys watching and subscribing. Please subscribe. Help me get some s subscribers up to 10,000 for, for, before the end of the year. It's my goal. Well, I can't do it without you. So I just wanted to remind you uh, to subscribe. And uh, if you want to help out the channel in any way, lots of ways to do that down in the, the description. And we will see you in the next video and down in the comments. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging with me on this cool Pink, uh, pink Floyd, cool uh, Porcupine Tree live performance. Really great. I love that. I want to see some more.